the ability to aggregate the voting power and the decision-making power of multiple users is also um, a fundamental premise of what Chainlink does. And it maybe hasn't been as clear, but the system that we're putting in place has, has two tiers. The, the first tier is a tier that will inform the, the system about any kind of deviation. And that informing is, is, is very, very well incentivized because at the end of the day, the deposits for informing or for raising an alert are very large and they're all aggregated to the alerter that successfully raises a relevant alert. And so an Oracle network, even with a few nodes that are putting something up as a deposit, will aggregate a very large alert for the one node that is responsible for correctly raising it. And you actually only need one node out of a network of 15 or 50 or 100 nodes in order for an alert to be successful. The second nuance um, around how an alert is resolved would be the second tier. And the second tier is really a slower voting committee that ends up deciding what the right answer is on the basis of cryptographically verified data. And, and once again, I think this is where Chainlink also excels, where we have the ability to prove a data's source through something called DECO using zero knowledge proofs. And then the people adjudicating the question of, of whether the data was accurately represented by the Oracle report initially should actually, in our opinion, be the users, right? The users that are now in the hundreds and you know that on certain Oracle networks are growing and growing in number are, are actually very, very interested and very, very incentivized to have a well-functioning Oracle mechanism because their application fundamentally depends on an Oracle mechanism in order to be considered reliable and real. And their cost for adjudicating a dispute with cryptographically verified data from a service like Deco is really, really low. 